We have got ready set rush packs. We have got rank one rewards. Let's open these up and see what we get. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast and reliable ultimate team coins, check out MMOEXP.com. Link in the description. Save 5% using code Haber. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all having a fantastic Sunday. Or if you're watching this on a different day, you know, whether it's, if it's Monday for you, hopefully your Monday's going well. We are starting off today straight in with the packs, a ready set rush pack. And my best player is Beth Mead. That is horrible. Absolutely horrible. Horrible. Pop and Mead. That is a meady pack right there. There better be like a dangler a wire in behind that. That just didn't pop up for some reason. You know what I mean? Nope. Not at all, actually. That is uh that is really bad. That is really, really bad. Okay. The only like good news is that that's some good fodder. If the fodder wasn't good, I wouldn't care. They also re-released the dribbling and shooting packs. Um I'm just going to open the shooting packs, I think. I'm not really bothered about the dribbling ones. I'm just going to do the shooting ones and see what we get. All right, first one. No special card. Let's go. What a start. It's not even a walkout. Let's go. I was actually really hoping that EA would give me nothing in this pack. Wow, Pavlidis. Oh, my word. I'm blessed. Sorry. I sound really salty right now. It's because I am. It's because I am. I am very salty. If you guys have packed any good total rush cards, by the way, let me in the comments down below what you guys have packed. Uh, or you feel free to tweet me your pack pools as well. Like, I love seeing you guys pack some good stuff because I don't. So, um, yeah, feel free to flex on me as much as you want. We do get Shuler or Pop and a double walkout as well. Uh, it is Pop and Little. She's everywhere. She is in all of my packs. A couple of informs, though. And Eder Militao, actually. That's not bad. It's not bad untradeable to get, to be honest. I'm quite happy with Edem Militao as an untradeable. Uh, the rest of this pack, kind of... Kind of womp, though, you know what I mean? Uh, not ideal. That's a reference. If you know that reference, if you know that reference, by the way, oh, you're, you are incredible. You're absolutely incredible. All right, we'll do one prime gold players pack as well, because why not? We're here, aren't we? We're here. We might as well. CM from Scotland. Right, okay. Is that John McGinn? I think that might be John McGinn. Is that John McGinn? Uh, it's John McGinn. Brilliant. Okay, well, let's get into the rank one rewards and more store packs. We're back again with Raymond's rank one rewards for the third week in a row. First week, the icon was Rooney, and we packed an untradeable Putellas. Second week, the icon was closer, and we packed a tradable Putellas, or that might be flipped. Like, one, he's had Putellas back to back weeks. So this week, we're hoping for a really good icon and hopefully. Who tell us? <laughs> because she is a total rush card this week. Um, but to be honest, he's had two good icons in my opinion. Uh, these are on the PC. Um, you know, Mirisov closes like 600k. Rooney's Rooney's probably more than that actually these days. Rooney's 1.3 million. So like he's had two very, very good icons there. Um, both strikers. So if we could avoid getting a striker this time, we can get a midfielder, a winger, a centre back like Maldini, Dino. Pull it, you know what I'm saying? That would be fantastic. Um, but yeah, we're on a decent roll so far, I feel like. Nearly 2 million of icons in his first two weeks is really, really good. Uh, the team of the week packs, I don't think anyone really cares about these. Like, unless you get Graham Hansen, it, it is pointless. Um, it's just 30,000 coins, basically. But... I keep my team of the weeks now for SBCs. You know, SBCs are going to require team of the weeks. I think this year with SBC storage, EA might make SBCs just a little bit more expensive. And they might do that three team of the week. So I'm going to try and hold on to my team of the weeks if I can. Um, anyway, three team of the week packs down the hatch. We have got some big boy packs to open. 82 times 30. Total rush card. Come on, EA. Cook for us. Cam from Macedonia. <clears throat> okay. Elmas from RB Leipzig, which is not great, but it is a total rush card. And Irene Perini's behind that, so not amazing, but we'll take it total rush card in the 82 by 30. He's only 84 rated, though. At best, you hope for an Evo. If you're a rank one player, you probably don't care about this card at all. Um, unfortunately, it's untradeable as well. But a bit of fodder there as well. Yemi Frimpong, uh, Irene Perini's, you know. It could have been worse. All right. We're on to the 84 and the 85 by 10s. They are tradable. Ah, no special card in the first one. I feel like if it's a woman, is Sophia Smith the most expensive one now? Because it would have been Putella's, but obviously it's a total rush card. I know Sophia Smith is worth quite a bit still. I can't think of any other women in the game. I, like, she's 300k. Bon Matty is like not... 230k, yeah. So I think Sophia Smith is the most expensive one. So that's who you're hoping for, I guess. Um, meh pack. I mean, it's okay if you walk out. It's not great. The 85 by 10 hopefully will be better, though. Fingers crossed. Come on, show us a special card, please, EA. 
Yes, let's go. Who's that? Gonna be a centre mid from France. Is that Zaire Emery? Not bad. What is what is he worth? Zaire Emery, four hundred. Dembele. <clears throat> Dembele card, shall we? Look at the perfect link. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. That's great. All right. 89 double. Come on. No special card. Is that Erdegaard? Looks like Erdegaard. Oh, no. Not Erdegaard this time. Ooh. Jude Bellingham. Not bad. Decent one to get untradeable. He's worth a couple hundred K still. I don't know why he's on the PC market, but I know... There's Erdegaard. Brilliant. There he is. Um, Bellingham's all right. We take Bellingham for the 89 double. Not bad. It all rides on the icon pack, though. So far, rewards have been pretty good. Like, they've not... I wouldn't say they've been insane yet, but they've been pretty good. A really good icon here, and we can definitely put insane in the title. All right, here we go. Come on, EA. Please, a good icon here. Who is it going to be? It's going to be a centre mid. That's Roy Keane. <clears throat> Roy Keane. <clears throat> I mean, I'd love a Roy Keane untradeable. Don't get me wrong. I would happily take a Roy Keane on tradable. I don't even think that card is the worst looking card in the game, but not ideal. At least he got Bellingham before that, um, you know, and maybe some coins from the tradables, but not ideal. I'm really upset about that Zaire Emery troll as well. All right, we're on the second account now. We actually have uh, a couple of packs to open here. We've got the um, Total Rush pack, the 2,500 point one. Which is a lot. I don't recommend opening these, by the way. Don't, just let me waste my money. Don't waste yours. Uh, but we're going to see what we get anyway. So, we have got ourselves a right wing from England. Wow. Wowie. Ooh, wow. Fun. Exciting. Beth Mead. I think I got Beth Mead in the one on my main account as well. Nice one, EA. Pedri, Modric, Bront, Zanit. Okay, cool. Wow. Wowie. EA. They've treated me. And because of that, I'm going to go and open more packs because I'm stupid. Well, I've already put the points on now, so it doesn't really make a difference anyway. Um, premium Total Rush Week 2 pack. These have got a 21% chance of a, a Total Rush player. Go on, let me see that Total Rush. Yes, there you go. Let me see it. Who is it? It's going to be centre mid. It's Endombele. It's got to be Endombele. I think that is Endombele. Yeah, it's Endombele. Okay, cool. Uh, Tar. <laughs> Tari, eh? Thank you very much, Tar. Endombele and Tar. Anything else in there? Uh, Bruno Guimaraes. I don't think Endombele sells for anything, does he? Maybe 20k? Is he 5-star skills? 4-star skills? <laughs> what a player he could have been, man. He could have actually been so good. I remember watching him at Spurs. I remember watching him, like, in the league earned before that. He was actually a quality player. I just feel like... I think he had a bad attitude. I can't really remember, to be honest, but... Bit of a wasted career, to be honest. Uh, as we get a... I'm going to take a loan Endombele as well. Why not? Discard that. All right. That one gave us a Total Rush player, so we'll open up another one of those real quick and see if we get a Total Rush player. No, we do not. Who is that? Striker from Norway. It's Erling Haaland. Let's go. Hagerberg. Hagerberg and Gundogan is my guess. Oh, the wrong 87 rated midfielder in the Premier League. Bruno Fernandes, the better one, to be honest. Right, anyway, uh, Sauerbrunn in there as well. You've got Bamiyang, you've got Johnson. Oh, I knew there was a City player in there. I smelt it. I could smell it. What else we got? We've got ourselves a Guerrero. Guerrero. Card actually looks pretty good. Could we play centre mid? Centre mid. This card actually looks pretty decent, to be fair. Like, actually, it's a centre mid. That's not bad. Right, I'm going to bear that in mind. I might, get, I might try him out. I might give him a go. I probably won't. I'm not going to lie. I'm too lazy. But we... Who knows? Who knows? All right, let me store all those in the club as well. That didn't go to plan. I'm not going to lie to you. That could have gone a lot better. And it, 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 it didn't go great. I've got, oh my God. The dream. I've got enough for one 350 point 25k pack. Oh my word. Oh, it's not a walkout. Okay. Well, honestly, I thought my stars were aligning. I thought that was it. I thought that was, I'm going to discard all of it as well. Why not? So we've got some 100k packs, some deluxe season opener packs, and some essential season opener packs as well. Uh, we'll start with the deluxe season openers. Why not? Let's see what we get. 1.5k points. No special card, unfortunately. I should have really looked at the odds, shouldn't I? A left back from Sweden. It's Rolfo. It's not a terrible one to get untradeable. If we, for some somehow, some way, got a Putellas, I will, I will be happy to have this card untradeable. Uh, as it will mean that we can get her in on some decent chemistry. But until then, and unless that happens, that's fodder. 
to be honest. That's fodder. At this stage of the game, I mean, she's only like 10k. She's not even 10k, it's like 8k. It's actually surprising how cheap she is. I thought she'd be a little bit more. What are the odds on this? So, total rush card, 13%. Wow. That's low. We do not get a total rush card. We don't even get a walkout. Oof. That's pain. Cole Palmer or Madison? Madison. <sighs> Brilliant. Uh, Furl and Mendy. That's actually so painful. This is at a 150,000 coin card, but mine's untradeable. So he is a duplicate untradeable. That, that's actually painful. That kind of hurts a little bit. I'm going to discard these because I'm starting to lose space in my unassigned. Oh, sorry, my SPC storage. That's actually kind of painful though. Oh, well. Well, we do get a 150,000 coin card right there. It's just, sadly, a dupe untradeable. All right, we'll open up these 100k packs now as well and see what they're saying. Uh, Odds-wise, 5.3% chance of a total rush player. I remember back in the day... 100k packs were the best packs you can get on the game before ultimate packs were released. 100k packs were the best cards on the, were the best packs on the game. Nowadays, like they don't even excite me anymore. Ultimate packs, 100k packs, 50k packs don't excite me in the slightest. Kevin De Bruyne, I've no idea what he's worth. I'm just going to list him up and discard the rest. Which I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll take a Kevin De Bruyne, but like, you know. We do get back to about walkouts at least. Right back from England is Trent. We're getting all of Total Rush Team 1 players here. We're getting all of the Team 1 here, eh? Camavinga might still be worth about 3k. Uh, Bruno Gamardes is probably fodder value. I'll wait for an SBC before I sell him. Come on, third and final one. Icon? Zero? Total Rush card? Walkout. CDM. Declan Rice. Skipperoni. Skipperoni in Pepperoni. An inform. Ah, you know what? 287 to an inform. It could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. She actually doesn't look terrible as well. Like, four-star, four-star. This card is going to get an Evo at some point. Like, she's going to fit in some absolutely monster Evo. So, I'm going to hold on to her. That could have been a worse. That could be a lot worse. It wasn't great, but it could have been a lot worse, to be fair. That's a hero. Hero. Yapstam. No. Oh, if that was Yapstam, that would have been clean. I just said clean, unironically. What is wrong with me? Um, That would have been class, is what I meant to say. Carvalho, anticipate plus... That card, I, I, eh. I mean, the thing is, that card doesn't look bad. I don't know why, but like 77 paces doesn't look good to me. 190k, wow. I think that card looks good. Jockey, slight type of acrobatic aerial as well. Low key, that card looks decent, man. Six, ah, six foot's a bit small though, isn't it? Feels like six foot three. I'm kind of getting excited. Stopper plus plus as well. I mean, I'm going to sell him, but that's a decent pull. 